guys we are checking out the new spartan sr i'm really excited for this boat i had a spartan in the past i really enjoyed it but it didn't have self-writing and self-writing is something i really like to have just looking at the box i can tell you it looks like a pretty nice boat i'm gonna guess it's pretty close to the stock spartan um looks like you get a high torque waterproof servo which is going to be plastic geared you do get a plastic propeller but i actually have one coming already so i'm buying this boat See if I got something in here that I can possibly use. Get this open. Hey, look what all comes in the box. So when you first open it, I guess you won't get the presence of the boat. You can have this bigger own box. Take that off. Right on top here you have your instruction manual. So you need your instruction manual and stuff in here. We'll talk about this a little bit more in a bit. Um, it looks like you actually get some pretty nice stuff, which is very cool. So yeah, let's uh, put this to the side. Then you have your standard TQI radio. I'm not sure how to pull this out. And then I did see in here some stuff we're going to need right away. So let's go ahead and pull this open. Yeah, it looks like you get a pretty nice stand with this boat, guys. I need to make sure I got more nice around here on my box and shit. So you do get your plastic stand. Yeah, I'm dropping them all over. Let me see if I can find those pieces quick. So there we go guys, we've got the boat out. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to show you guys something that's kind of weird about this boat. So you do get an extra propeller. There are plastic propellers as well. And then you get a bunch of tools, which is nice. And then you also get... Ah, did I lose them already? Don't tell me I lost them. So, okay. Is these kind of screws here. And I'm going to actually put these on. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now, you get this canopy off. you got to use this tool. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I go to the lake, you can use a flat blade screwdriver too. I just remember every time I go to the lake, I will not remember to grab this tool. So I would much rather throw the thumb things on before we go test it. I will say something that's kind of neat about this boat is I don't see an antenna popping out of it. Okay, the antenna is in the boat in these. Got your big battery tray down the middle. So you do got a Castle ESC 540XL motor. I believe, it's not said, but I believe this is the motor that comes on the Max. Traxxas won't tell you that, but I believe that's the way it goes. And then you have your battery tray here. And I think your battery tray is meant... 
Okay, I believe you stack two batteries here, or you can use one single battery. Which today, when we take this out, this truck does not come with a splitter, but I have splitters from my other trucks that we're going to use to run a single 4S in it. Um, so, yeah, or not a splitter, sorry guys, it doesn't come with a. Uh, yeah, it doesn't come with a plug. It doesn't come with the end plug, or the fuck they call them. So we're gonna stick one of those in. I'm gonna change the ends on that quick, and I'll show you how to do that. So pretty, pretty self-explanatory actually to do that. Back on here. And then I can use their number to go the shot too here. Don't do anything. So I guess we're just gonna use their tool. I'll get your vibe, show you guys you can do with their tools. And actually track this tool are actually kind of nice. So what you're gonna do is simply gonna take your screw. Screw that like that. I'm gonna set that upside down. Take it down. Screw it over there. On this side. So now you have this, you just simply put it back on. I just flip that and you're good to go. So I'm gonna do that to all four of these. I'm gonna grab my electric tools. If you guys are using electric tools for this, make sure you don't strip nothing out. As you guys can see here, I got my things turned all the same way. So I know what's locked, what's unlocked. I had to switch over to the thumb one instead of having the need to bring that tool with me everywhere I go. There's the canopy off. There's the boat. You just got your standard servo, your motor. I am going to take out the, the shaft and just check and make sure they do have grease on it. And then we're going to go run this boat. So as you guys can see, it looks like they do have some grease on there. I want to look at this grease that they gave us with it. And just see what it looks like. See if it is that dark color. If it is that dark color, color then I won't have any, but I think that might just be oil, but I could be correct. So it is nice, Traxxas does give grease with this boat. So yeah, the grease in here is red, so I guess Traxxas did not actually grease the shaft. Got a nice and grease down there now. Tissue. So you guys, you don't want to over grease these. But just grease them off. I don't like getting grease on the end. It goes into the motor home. So that should be good. Let's push that back in. So I'm gonna put that back in. 
Nice Drex, this gives you tools too to do this. So guys, I did go grab an actual 10 millimeter to do this because I think it'll just make it a whole lot easier. Alright guys, we got the shaft greased. I'm going to get the canopy on this and we're going to head to the lake. These videos are going to be separate. I'm going to post the running video separate just to make it so the video ain't so long. I will say I'm pretty impressed with uh, what this boat all comes with. How you get a thing of marine grease. You get quite a bit of tools like with every Traxxas truck. These are hard to use. But if you're someone that doesn't have tools laying around, they will work to make it so you can grease up your shaft. Make sure when you guys first get the bow, you take it apart and grease that shaft because it doesn't come greased. So my next video, guys, I'll see you at the lake with this thing. And uh, look forward to seeing you there. I'm going to do a quick start up just to make sure everything's working. Oh, Traxxas did something in this boat I don't really care for. They made it so you can't run a single press battery. I'll have to switch out the end. Why Traxxas? Why? So I was looking forward to using my first batteries because we got like five of these. So I'll get some pretty good run times on these things. But I guess I won't be using those. So I've only got two single batteries then guys. So we'll only be going and doing one run on this thing.